Welcome to WMI TV News. I'm Laura Singleton. This news is being driven to you by Horn Auto Center, the Chevy store that saves you more. We hope you've stayed warm and safe during the last few days of snow that have helped the White Mountains live up to its name. Today's top story comes from Navajo County where there is still no clear answer on the broadband application for schools and libraries. Federal funding to provide broadband internet service to 51 Navajo and Gila County schools and libraries through the consortium's application is still on hold. Officials are still waiting for a decision from the Universal Service Administrative Company or USAC, which is the federal subcontractor that reviews funding applications. On July 10, 2018, the USAC sent the local consortium an email notice saying their application was denied. Following that determination, the Arizona Department of Education E-Rate program pulled its $5.5 million of funding offer for the local consortium's plan. The federal application is still asking for around $55 million. In the nearly eight months since the consortium's proposal was denied, the back and forth with USAC has continued with no decision. It's still listed as pending, says Jalen Gerlich, Navajo County School Superintendent. They haven't asked us any questions in quite some time. For more details about the bid process and how Gila County is moving forward by reapplying for funding, see editor-reporter Terrence Corrigan's story in your Tuesday edition of The Independent. Now to Sholo. Sholo resident Ricky Payne, 62, was arrested and charged with 20 counts of sexual exploitation of a minor. The police department received several leads from the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children that the suspect had allegedly been sharing child exploitation material online. The case is under investigation by multiple agencies. See reporter Bob Martinson's story in your Tuesday, February 19th edition of The Independent. Your weather forecast is now brought to you by White Mountain Publishing. A series of storms moving through the area is forecasted to produce the highest snow accumulation in years, according to the National Weather Service. The latest update shows the second storm slated to begin Thursday morning could drop 21 to 27 inches of snow between Thursday and Friday. Today, Wednesday, February 20th, should remain sunny, but very cold and windy, with a wind chill as low as minus 6 degrees. Temperatures staying around the freezing mark of 32 to 34 degrees overnight. More details on any of the news you've heard today can be found on our website, our Facebook page, or the print edition of your Tuesday or Friday Independent. The White Mountain Independent Office will be closed on Friday, February 22nd, in lieu of the snowstorm. WMI-TV will return to the air on Monday, February 25th. And remember, today's news was driven to you by Horn Auto Center, the Chevy store that saves you more. Thank you for watching. I'm Laura Singleton.